Hello Retro Gamers and welcome to another episode of Sunday Quickie. Yes, Sunday Quickie where there's a Sunday, there is no script, there is no production values, and there is a subject we all delve into and have a look at together. It's a jolly good time and I always look forward to making these. Today's subject is Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis Special Edition. Why? Well, if you didn't see it, last week I reviewed the OG Fate of Atlantis on PC, or DOS, PC, and I guess that both kind of mean the same thing in that context. Regardless, this is something I came across in my research for that review, and I thought it was cool enough that it should have its own video, basically. So, Indiana Jones has never has properly been remade. It's never got a day, it never received a HD remaster or anything like that, which is a bit strange for such a big title, especially since LucasArts is still around and in full swing. So it is actually a couple of years old. This first started hitting the news 2017, 2018, but looking at some of the screenshots and the copyrights they put on them, it appears this project has more or less been going since about 2015. So this is the main website for it, a classic dot blogspot affair, which always has a special place in my heart since that's where Retro Game On started, on blogs blogspot or blogger, whatever it was called first. So not much on this website anymore, unfortunately. It's, it's basically directing you to the Facebook page, which we will check out in a second, and a petition. And you may be wondering, why is there a petition? And how come this thing hasn't released yet if it's all the way back from 2017? Well, unfortunately, LucasArts and Disney basically wanted this shut down. So uh, this news article is back from March 2017 and it looks very promising as you can see. Like, and I'll boot the demo up soon and we can all play it together. And yeah, they didn't seem too keen on them making it, even though it is a fan remake and it is non-for-profit. So kind of seems like a typical Disney sort of thing, but it's a little bit deeper than that, which I will show in a second. <clears throat> but as you can see here, there's a quote from the lead developer. It says, we've been told that Lucasfilm don't want to share the indie license with anyone right now, and we will keep in touch with Lucasfilm people and continually try to obtain a deal for a full project development. Um, and I guess I sort of skipped over this bit, which is the more important bit. So the team behind it uh, stopping their work after an informal conversation with Lucasfilm. They asked the team to halt production, but did not issue a formal cease and desist. <clears throat> so basically they've launched this uh, pe uh, petition on change.org, as you do these days, um, basically trying to prove that there is interest in the project and that they should be allowed to make it. And honestly, I'm with them. Um, generally with these things, most developers are okay with it, especially Sega, if there isn't any money involved if it's non-for-profit. And when to play, they are an actual developer. They seem to be doing some VR stuff at the moment. So they're definitely capable of doing it. And this seemed to be just something they were doing in their free time. So come on, Lucasfilm, just, just let them do it. Come on, be a bro. But basically, currently have 17,000 uh, signatures, so I guess I should probably sign as well, with the goal being 25,000. Now, if we get onto the Facebook page, we'll see that see that's actually been updated somewhat recently. The newest post is from the 19th of February of this year, so things are still going, but I don't know how much work they've they've added to it since the demo came out. Um, and the demo is up to version two, but in here we'll see, uh, see if I can find it. There we go. Um, someone asked, so you have a deal with Disney? I hope. And they've basically said, it's not blocked and it's not Disney. It's a biz dev guy sitting at Lucasfilm blocking all offers without any discussion. So it kind of seems like uh, it's probably the first guy you call at Lucasfilm when you try to get these sort of things going and he's just saying no. <laughs> so... I guess that's the point of the petition. They just, you know, they want to uh, make this as visible to as many people as possible. And hopefully with popularity, one day they will be allowed. So I guess I will contrib contribute to that. Unfortunately, it is kind of tricky to find the demo now. A lot of links online point to a dead link. So I thought, oh, they've taken the demo down. That's it. I did find an old version of the demo on some random website but um, it was actually through their YouTube channel. 
in one of the comments, their developer actually replied with a Dropbox, no, sorry, a Google Drive link on how to download it. So I followed the link and it still works. So I, thought, so I kind of thought like, oh, maybe this is a bit naughty. Maybe I shouldn't be making a video about this. Maybe they're not supposed to be showing the demo. But if you go further enough down their Facebook page, they've actually directly linked it there. So I feel a bit better about it now and <laughs> I'm, I'm now happy to release the video. So I will link directly down below this Facebook post. It's dated from the 2nd of October, 2019. So it's been up for quite a while. So hopefully if you find this in the future, it will still be there. And um, for those asking in the future, if the link goes dead, no, I don't magically know where to download it. I've just found it now in the present day for the purposes of this video. But without further ado, let's check out the demo. All right, I've been trying without luck for the last 10 minutes to get my Galaxy Buds to pair with my computer. Uh, so we're just gonna have to go over this awkward headphone arrangement for now, because unlike the last video, I actually wanna hear what I'm listening to as I'm playing it. So, <clears throat> as we can see, it's pretty fresh from the get-go. Um, I guess it's just a menu screen. There's not really too much to talk about. Um, you got, yep, got those. Save the game. You can quit the game. There we go, the copyright on it is currently no later than 2018, so let's start the game. Nice, nice touch. I'm a sucker for things like that. Non-profit fans project made by Went to Play. Short demo shows to... <laughs> I'm sure you were able to read that yourself. Oh, that's nice. So the LucasArts logo, it's kind of like how I used to draw people when I was a kid. Like the legs wouldn't really join up with the body properly. It looked like you were wearing a really, um, you know, uh, baggy long shirt. Anyway. All right, here we go. So Indy looks good. I already know how to find the statue because I only played this game last week. Um, hmm. I might just turn down the music a little bit. It's sort of just blaring into my ear. And I'm also worried about copyright. So as we can see, the background looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I think the lead guy's specialty is digital painting as well as 3D modeling. The model of Indy looks pretty good as well. From the screenshots, I actually thought it was a live action uh, recording of someone that had been superimposed in, but no, it's actually just a, a CG model. Rented from a couple of different angles. So, let's look at the horse, Horus statue. So instead of having the display down at the bottom, it's all controlled by right-clicking, and then we can talk to it, <laughs> we can use it, and we can look at it. So let's, let's have a chat. It's like talking to the wall. Yeah. Look it's a it. copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. Oh, a copy? It doesn't work. Obviously, it should be noted it's not the same voice acting that's in the game. But, um, uh, brick. Hmm. <laughs> talk no to the brick. No way am I putting my lips on that. Oh, come on, talk to the brick. Use There's brick. nothing I can do. Alright. Yeah. Look at the urn. Let's look at the urn. It's some kind of funeral urn. Oh, it's a bit dim. Damn, it's stuck. No way am I putting my lips on that. It's like talking to the wall. Why do I keep talking to inanimate objects? There's nothing to use. Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. Poor Marcus indeed. Alright, let's get on with it. Uh-oh. <sighs> All right, so the animation obviously isn't quite as good as the sprite-based animation from the original game, but keep in mind this is a demo. So, uh, you know, things are still being worked on and ironed out at the time. Let's look at the totem, shall we? I have to say, I am a bit worried about the music. 
If I'm having issues, I may have to turn the audio off on this at certain points. Oh, that's what I call a hard landing. So just be aware of that. Yeah, no, that's um as someone who just recently played the original, all the environments are very fresh in my mind. And these, in my opinion, look great. So let's just skip along here a bit. I mean, the animation's good, but it's definitely nowhere near as good as the original. But, you know, if they get a chance to work on this, checked. I think they could definitely hone it out. Uh, was it this one? I think... An imitation of Bast, cat goddess of fertility. Ow. There we go. I was waiting for it. Yeah, that animation certainly needs to be worked on. It's in this one. Uh, maybe it's in this one. I think it's in the last one, no matter which one you choose. What I've been searching for. Oh, that's a really nice cutscene. A strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. Sound design's really good. Or if they designed the music themselves, or if they've pulled that from another source. I'm assuming since it's a remake, everything has been created from scratch. So I'm just going to assume that. The voice acting is pretty good as well. Make sure you look both ways before you cross the road, Indy. Kind of been hit by a bus this early on in the journey. <laughs> Get off the road, idiot. I'm back. All right, here we go. Indy, you don't look at all well, Doctor. I don't trust you, Mister Smith. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mister. Uh... What was your name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find the lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's obviously a fake. Do you think that's a real German accent? You may think so, <laughs> but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. Sounds like if I was trying to do a German accent, if I'm going to be honest. My word, and a small metal bead. Do the animation's growing on me a little bit here. I wonder if it's mo-capped, or if it's all done by scratch. Could have all been done by scratch. Yeah, by scratch, if they've, uh, at this point, we're developing it for three or four years. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith. Stand back, gentlemen. You know, I should have I trusted you. Get away, car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. Wo ist Fritz? Yeah, the animation is going up and down for me at the moment. Well, we got his coat, Marcus. Voice hey, acting's pretty consistent, though. Klaus Kerner, huh? Oh, it's a Nazi! Some sort of secret agent for the Third Reich. Who would have guessed? What does a spy want with a phony statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else I guess the voice, voice acting will be helped by the fact that the original game had a brilliant script. 8,000 lines of dialogue yeah, as well. It's a fun fact I found out during the review of the video. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. I like how they've used a photo out of the movie. I just noticed that. <laughs> Where is she now? She gave That's not going to get you into uh, copyright doo doo. You've got to be careful about those sort of things. You can say that again. Indy. Kerner found you, what if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. Ooh. It's a bit rude. Alright, off to New York. Oh, that's nice. The more I play this, the more evident it's been that the developers have put a lot 
of effort into this. So for it to supposedly just be blocked by some desk jockey at Lucasfilms is a bit disappointing to hear. Hello there. The show's sold out, sir. All right, dialogue tree. Now wait. No seats, no standing room, no exceptions. That was a very quick dialogue tree. Uh, there should be a newspaper over here I can grab. Oh, there it is. If I look in the satchel, can I look at the magazine? Will it give me a close up? It's today's paper. No. How about that? Oh, yeah. Just the same screenshot as before. But that's okay. Ain't no ticket office. I'm the fire inspector. What do you take me for? A moron? Now beat it. Wait a minute. Yeah? What for? Let's just go straight to the fight. I want to see how the fighting is in this. Oh, missing some audio there. Was that an insult? What do you think? I think I'm tired of fancy Dan college boys who like to use big words, and I think you better apologize. Why should I, you fat tub of lard? That's, That's it, wise guy. Rude. Put Very up your rude. Um, I don't know what the fighting controls are. Okay. Oh, man. At least let me look at the... Apologies in advance for my extremely loud keyboard. Damn right I do. Yeah, I'm missing some audio there as well, so definitely a beta product. Alright, let's distract old mate here with the newspaper. <laughs> feel like I'm cheating since I've already played to know how to pass all the puzzles. Such a pushover. Oops, sorry to bother you. Just keep your voice down, okay? It's not a purse, it's a satchel. Excuse me. Take, Take this. it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis, as it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Where'd you get those photos from? Beyond our wildest dreams, just on a continent. And describe. Sorry, we're such a <laughs> Let's just skip to the gameplay. Isn't she? I've given you the download link. I encourage you to play it yourself. And I won't play the whole thing here. If you're interested, I want you to just get in there and enjoy it yourself. For now, uh, I need to distract old mate here. Too long, didn't read. Atlantis sunk. Plato wrote about oh. it. Come on. The Music's getting very dramatic. I've been through the woman the ah. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life. Don't you ever read? Sure, it's a hobby of mine. What if I give you something to read? I might take a look. Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodge is one. Lady. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? All right, let's, uh... It doesn't work. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't remember how to do this puzzle either. Yellow? It doesn't work. Oh, I guess I should have hit it when it was green. That would have made more sense. Green, uh, yellow, green, button. There we there go. Indiana Jones, you've got some nerve. Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern. Oh, great. Good 
night, folks. Come on, mister. I've got a few words. I feel like the music doesn't really fit this scene very well. There's like Requiem for a Dream or something's playing. Oh no. The Nazis have oh, been here. No. <laughs> there you go. I wonder what's up Let's with the audio missing. It's the exact issue I was having playing the original game if you've watched my last video. <laughs> oh, this is different. What's going on now? No one here. Nazis! Yeah, let's get through this. Dr. Oberman, I think. I think we're gonna leave it there, folks. Um, if it lets me exit, <laughs> don't think it is. Whatever, I'll just let it keep playing. But, as you can see, it's a pretty well made product. I'm, I'm actually really impressed. Uh, I'm not sure how many people worked on it. Um, I don't really talk about the team anywhere from what I can see, but it's a shame that it looks like it's not going to be released, but there is that petition there. I'll link that in the description as well. So by all means, leave a signature. Otherwise, that's it for today's Sunday Quickie, and that's probably the last you'll see of Fate of Atlantis on this channel for a while. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next week.